como a mim They show me how to become greater, you know, and how to become a better person. So the question is here, who have you been around? Have they shown you the route, the path, the road to become a better person? I, I could sit here, okay, and we can go into such a, a level of prayer and pray, and the Spirit of God will come down, and you will hear a powerful message, but you still will not change. Fact. Fact. In fact, you will hear a prophetic word, clear, sharp. But the fact that you hear a prophetic word, you still will not change. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? Is it because you're possessed? Or you're blaming the devil too much when you should be blaming yourself for the things that you have done most of the time. You're, I mean, yesterday God was talking about disobedience so bad. You know, you know who you're supposed to be around, who you're not supposed to be around, but you choose to do what you want to do. You don't care about the opposite person but yourself. Now, there's a level when you care about yourself and there's a level you care for other people. I think when you lose that level where you're supposed to care for other people and you care for yourself too much, selfishness rate. Absolutely rate. Absolutely. Selfishness will rate. Because you do not care about people. Right now, how many people actually are dead? If they check your radar, or your your blood pressure, or your your care level, it's like slim, because it's not happening to you. You're not under that problem, so you wouldn't care. You know. I saw something on. Uh, I saw something on. Uh, on, I don't know if it was YouTube I was watching one day or a documentary on TV. They show they show a country that that uh, the, the country name start with a C and end with an A. I won't go too much on giving the, the full letter. That's because that's if we have people from that background, I don't want to let them look down upon them. Um, so. I remember just uh, realized this uh, this documentary, and what I got out of this documentary was that people were rushing for food, and the stores that have this food, they choose when they want to be open, and they choose who they can feed, who they can give it to, who they can not give it to, who they can serve first, who don't deserve the food. So think about that right now. That that little segment. If stores could close, what would be your, um, I don't know, to say it loud. What would be your source of, you know, feeding? Whew. God help me today again, now. We started a war. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure like all the channels are connected so that, that there will be no problem. But the oil is just flowing. Amen. So think about that. But just a minute. If stores could close today, you know, th by the way, thank God for the truckers. Okay, all the 
all the great men and women who sacrificed their life to bring food to the stores so that we could actually use the monies that we work for to the stores. So, you know, these are the small people they got to thank God for. I mean, you know, there are more people to thank God for too. You know, the nurses, the doctors. But there are more than that. There are more people. If today's stores could close, if today's hospitals are closed, Forget about the the hospitals and the stores. If you can't go to work or there's no job, your employer said they're closing their doors. Are you, what are you going to? Man. Painful? Maybe. Hurt? Maybe devastated. Oh yeah. Some people can even stand doing things for themselves. Work. You know, all they do is work, 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 work. You'll be devastated. I I know some few people that would not even stand to even look at another person's life. <sighs> Yet alone to to have things closed, shop closed, bank closed. I mean, some might even thank God at bank closed because they get to live in their house longer without paying rent. <laughs> but knowing some of these uh, bank people, they're still going to ring you that call. I don't forget to uh, to send us your, uh, your monthly payments. <laughs> you, you know, so there's a uh, Numbers that just called you randomly. This is Bishop Dr. Seka Mansore. I want you to join me at Mega Faith TV on YouTube and all social media network. Listen, God.